Well, we just finally got done washing the bed. And I do apologize for not recording any of it, but I didn't really want to get my cameras wet. <laughs> I mean, I had the GoPro and everything, but still, I just didn't want to. I, I had the waterproof case, but I just don't trust it. But I took some before pictures, so I'll include them before this, um, before I show you this part. But that's a heck of a lot cleaner than it was. Back in there, it was just caked in mud back here. But anyway, so it was really caked in that spot, and you should be able to tell a little bit from the before pictures. One of the pictures I took was from here, so you should be able to tell the difference how bad it was. So I'm sorry this is not much of a part two for cleaning it, but at least I should have just included it all in one, but it's too late now. <laughs> Let's see. Um, well, it looks like cleaner. And we're going to get a pressure washer and pressure wash it anyways because we didn't get all of it. But that's fine. We're going to just pressure wash it and get in here. Lots of clay, <laughs> red soil. So we're going to have to pressure wash it probably in the, closer to springtime now. Because we were, like I said, we were lucky today it was warm enough. But, uh, As soon as, um, like you can even see over there how much cleaner that is. I mean, I can't tell. It, it's definitely cleaner than it was. So, after it's pressure washed, we'll be able to get in everywhere better. The pressure washer does a better job anyway. And then after that, we'll probably sand it lightly and then we'll hit it with some paint and she'll be ready. So anyways, sorry about this being a really short um, part, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Try to get back in there more. I mean, we didn't get up under here yet because, well, we can't get off the cart right in a second. So, but a funny story too. Guess what? My tailgate's locked. <laughs> Mm, so I can't even get that off and open right now, which kind of sucks, but we'll get it off. We're going to probably end up taking the bolts out of the back that are in that pan and get it off that way. But there used to be tape here. I don't know if I showed you that. For some reason there was tape here and I just got it off. There's actually water behind that one. And this one came nice and clean. So... And then I talked to the guy that I bought this off of the other day, and he said whenever we had to get the tailgate, I told him that the tailgate was locked, and he doesn't know why they would lock it, but who knows, people are just like that sometimes. But he said he'd buy whatever tailgate off of me. It might end up being this one, because I like the look of the older one better. Just It feels like it fits the truck better, because it, well, it does. <laughs> Because it's original, but I don't think no these tail lights are different. I was gonna say maybe these tail lights would fit on there, but no, you can't. They're not. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this part. And again, I apologize for being short. And thanks for watching. Uh, catch you whenever the next thing is probably gonna be getting that bed taken off, which will probably be here after Christmas. So just bear with me. <laughs> So anyways, I hope you enjoyed once again, and thanks for watching.